home, y'all. Most High Christ bless. Hey, this 15 minutes with the captains on Captain Hoshia. Soldier, you're right. And the, today's topic is 1 John chapter 1, God is Light. This is part three of the Dissecting Christianity uh, series. Let's open up with 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare to you that God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. That, you hear that, y'all, Christian? God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. We're going to stay on you so called Christians. And the reason why, because y'all constantly rebelling against the laws of God, especially you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. And the scriptures say, God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. We're going to give you an understanding of what it's talking about. Let's keep going, Reed. If we say that we have fellowship with him. So you saying you know God. You saying that you're a fellow Christian. You saying that you love Christ. Read. And walk in darkness. We lie and do not the truth. You say you lie and you do not the truth. Now let's see what is the truth. Let's get Psalms 119 verse 142. Psalms chapter 119 verse 142. Read. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. You hear that? The law is the truth. So if you said that you have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, you lie and you ain't in the truth. You ain't in the laws, you ain't keeping the laws of God. Read that again. First John chapter 1, verse 6. Read. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. You lie and you do not the truth. So now let's see what it means to walk in darkness. Let's go to Proverbs 4, verse 19 first. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 19. The way of the wicked is as darkness. And you hear that? The way of the wicked is as darkness. And when you're in wickedness, when you're in sin, there's darkness. Read that again. The way of the wicked is as darkness. Really? They know not in what they stumble. You hear that? They know not in what they stumble. Why? Because you're in darkness. You think that E Park is good. No, you're in darkness. You think that Christmas is good. You're in darkness. Jeremiah 10, 1 through 4, say don't celebrate Christmas. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7, say don't eat the pork. You say you have fellowship with Christ, but you're in darkness. Go from there to fifth. Read that Proverbs for me one more time. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 19. The way of the wicked is as darkness. The scripture says the way of the wicked is as darkness. Read. They know not in what they stumble. You don't know what you're stumbling in. You read Paul's right. First Timothy 4, every creature of God is good, but you're stumbling at the word of God like he said he was going to do in 2 Peter. You stumbling and you're walking in darkness. They get Ephesians chapter 5. Let's start at verse 1. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. Let's show you that you're walking in darkness when you rebel against the commandments of God. Read. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. You hear that? If you are a child of God, if you're born of God, you're going to keep his commandments. You will not continue in sin. You're going to follow in the footsteps of Christ. Christ didn't do no sin. Christ didn't break God's commandments. Read. And walk in love as Christ also have loved us and have given himself for us an offering in a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling sake. Read. But fornication. They say, but fornication. What is fornication? Sexual immorality. You, read, you got laws about fornication in the Old Testament. Read. And all uncleanness. You got laws about uncleanness in the Old Testament. Read. Or covetousness. Read on. Let it not be once named amongst you. Has become a saint. You see that? Paul said these things should be named amongst us as becoming saints. Read on. Neither filthiness, Read. nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. So he said these things should be named amongst us. Read. For this ye know that no whoremonger. It said no whoremonger. No unclean person. You gotta know law. You gotta know the laws about uncleanness to know what an unclean person is. Read. Nor covetous man Read. who is in idolatry have any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ. So you got laws that pertain to all these things that we just read about. And he said you ain't gonna enter the. Uh, you ain't gonna inherit the kingdom of Christ and of God if you're doing these things. Read. 
and of God. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Don't let no man deceive you with vain words. Don't let no man tell you, deceive you with vain words saying, oh no, every creature of God is good. You can eat pork. You can eat pork. They take the word of God out of the context and deceive you. They take the word of God out of context and say you can celebrate Easter. You can celebrate Christmas. They take the word out of God out of context and then say you can get an abortion. It said, let no man deceive you with vain words, read. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things come of the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. So because of these things, what, what, what things that it's talking about? Fornication, uncleanness, covetousness, filthiness, foolish talking, uh, whoremongering. Because of these things, the wrath of God Come upon the children of disobedience. Don't let nobody tell you, girlfriend and boyfriend, that ain't in the Bible. Marriage. Marriage is honorable in the bed is of the fire. Read on. Verse 7. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. He said, be what? Be not ye therefore partakers with them. Paul said, don't be partakers with them. Read on. For ye were sometimes darkness. For ye were sometimes darkness. Let you know that people that's doing these things and have these attributes, they walking in darkness, read. But now are ye light in the Lord. It said, but now ye are light in the Lord, read. Walk as children of light. Walk as children of light, read on. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. You hear that the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. What is the truth? Psalms 114 verse 142. The law is true. What is righteousness? Deuteronomy 6 verse 25. The commandments is righteousness. Read on. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. That's how you know what's acceptable to God. His commandments. His law. Read on. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Don't have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Read. But rather reprove them. He said them. but rather reprove yeah, read on. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Read. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. Read. For whatsoever do make manifest is light. What is the light? What makes things manifest to us? Get Proverbs 6 and 23. Then we're going to go back to 1 John 1. God is light, y'all. Read this. First Proverbs chapter 6 verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp, read, and the law is light. And read, read. and reproofs of instruction. That's why I say, and rather reprove them, and reproofs and instructions are what? Are the way of life. That's the way of life. Now go right back to what you was at. First John chapter one, verse six. First John chapter one, verse six. If we say that we have fellowship with him, so you say you have fellowship with Christ, read. And walk in darkness. And you still walking in darkness? You still walking in your sin? Read. We lie. You lying? And do not the truth. And you ain't doing the truth, read on. But if we walk in the light. But if you walking in the laws, because the law is light, read. As he is in the light. Because he is in the light. He walked in the spirit of God. Why? Because God is light. Read. We have fellowship one with another. Read. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. The only way that Je the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you from all sin, if you walk it in the light. You walk it within the laws of God. You walk it within the spirit of God. Because in him is no darkness. Read. If we say that we have no sin. Don't say you don't have no sin, read. We deceive ourselves. We deceive ourselves, read. And the truth is not in us. Read on. If we confess our sins. But if you confess your sins, read. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Read. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So you got to confess. You got to confess and you got to also walk in the light. You got to walk within the laws, read. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a light. And his word is not in us. You see that? Now, nah, look, jump down to 1 John chapter 2, verse 9. Because a lot of our people think that they are in the light. You ain't in the light. Let's prove it, read. 1 John chapter 2, verse 9. 
He that said he is in the light, read, and hate of his brother. But you hate your brother, read. Is in darkness, even until now. It's, it's laws about hating your brother. Leviticus 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Read on. He that love of his brother, abide of in the light. Because you got a law that say you should love your neighbor as yourself. If you hate your brother, you ain't in the light. You breaking the laws. You walking in darkness. But you love your brother, you abide in the light. Light, why? Because in laws that say, love your neighbors, you love yourself. Read. He that love of his brother abide him in the light. And there is no occasion of stumbling in him. Why? Because he's walking in the light. He's not walking in darkness. He can't stumble. Remember the precept we read in Proverbs 4 saying you stumble when you walk in the way of darkness? Read it. But he that hate of his brother. If you hate your brother. Is in darkness. You in darkness, read. And walk over in dark. Read on. And know not where he go. Read. Because the darkness have blinded that his eyes. The darkness have blinded you. The sins blind you. Sins blind you. Let's get another. Look at Proverbs 20 and 20. I'm going to show you. The darkness is sin. Darkness is sin. Proverbs 20, verse 20. 20. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 20. Read. Whoso curseth his father or his mother. If you curse your father and your mother, read. His lamp shall be put out. I said your light gonna be put out, read. You're you gonna be put to death, read. In obscure darkness. In obscure darkness. You in sin. You're not in the light if you curse your father and mother. It's laws about honoring your father and mother. Give me Isaiah 5 and 20. I got one more scripture. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Listen to this. Woe unto them they call evil good. Woe unto them they call evil good. And good evil. And good evil, read. They put darkness for light. They put darkness for light. They put what? Evil for good. Let you know what? God is good. God is light. The laws is good. The laws is light. Read on. And light for darkness. And light for darkness. You put good for evil and evil for good, light for darkness. Go from there to Romans 3, verse 12. Romans chapter 3, verse 12. Read. They are all gone out of the way. It said they are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that do of good. No, not one. Not, no, not one. Why? Because our people was walking in darkness. So when you're doing evil, you're in darkness. When you're doing good, you're in the light. That's why he said, get Isaiah 45, verse 7. This is my last one. Isaiah chapter 45, and verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. He said, I form the light and create darkness. Read. I make peace. The light is peace. The light is the laws. Read. And create evil. The evil is darkness. The evil is sin. So 1 John 1 and 5, one more time. Let's wrap it up. 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. Read. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare to you that God is light. God is light. He is peace. God is good. Read on. And in him is no darkness at all. No evil, no sin at all. Read. If we say that we have fellowship with him. But you say you have fellowship with him, read. And walk in darkness. You walk in, in darkness, you walking in sin, and you doing all manner of evil work, read. We lie and do not the truth. You lie and you do not the truth. So with that, y'all, we're going to say shalom, most high Christ bless. This 15 minutes with the captains, shalom.
serve God And why would I say that I'm a Jew, it's how odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's how man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.